Yeah, I'm on my way back. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, ho hold on. Hey, how you guys doing? Hold on a second. I gotta plug in my phone. What? 12 volt power outlet. What am I gonna do with that? Put air in my tires? Hey, do you have a USB adapter I can plug in there? No. What do you mean, no? My phone's dying. How am I gonna plug my phone in? Man, I tell you, don't worry, because on today's episode of Fred's Garage, we're going to put in this double USB. Get rid of that 12-volt socket. Make it much more user-friendly back here. Stick around, and I'll show you how easy it is to do. Alrighty, so if you have a cup holder, you're just going to want to remove that. And the only tool you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. And right here, you'll see that there's two 10 millimeter bolts, one on either side. All you got to do is remove those bolts. Just remove those bolts. And once you get them off, this back panel will pry right off. All right, there's one. You gotta clean this car. And there's two. Once you get those bolts out, all you gotta do is put your fingers in this hole and pull it right, right back. It's gonna need some force, and she'll come right off. And then here's your plug for your 12 volt socket. On this side of the plug, there's a little press pin. We're just gonna press it in with our finger, and we're gonna pull the plug out. Now we're going to grab this here, we're going to bring it into the bench, and we're going to swap that out. Alrighty, so we moved inside, and we're going to take this off, and this is the USB I picked. It has this bezel, and uh, I think it'll fit in there perfectly. We'll see. The bezel's optional. You can install it, or you can take it off. And on the back, there's two connectors. There's the positive. So make sure your red wire goes to the positive and there's the negative. Put your black wire to the negative. And then it has a built-in fuse. Now here's a question for everyone. Leave it in the comments for me. And as the Romans said, to fuse or not to fuse? Oh, maybe that was Shakespeare. As Shakespeare said, to fuse or not to fuse? I am not going to fuse. And the reason is, is that I know that this cigarette lighter already is connected to a 15 amp fuse but if you think i should fuse it then please feel free to let me know and uh leave it in the comments so we're going to cut the fuse out i'm going to leave myself about maybe 10 inches of wire i'm going to strip those wires with my trusty strippers and uh, we're going to put this aside so let's take a look at this here. I don't want to break it because I might want to use it in the future. Put it back or whatever. So if we look on the inside, I'm bringing it in closer. You can see there's two tabs. There's a tab on the top and there's a tab on the bottom. We're going to press the tab, push the 12 volt socket out. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, these tabs are very hard to push for some reason. I'm going to start with the top one. Get that out, and then go to the bottom and get the bottom one. Yeah. I don't know why they're so hard, but they are a bear to get out of there. All right. And there it is. Now, what would make life so easy is that if there was a place that you could buy this plug, if there was a place that had all the plugs for the Maverick, the Bronco, or whatever vehicle. And if anybody knows of a place that sells these plugs, hey, leave it in the comments. Everybody would like to know because it would be so easy if you could just buy a plug that had two wires coming out of it. All right, so we have the hole. If you look at the hole, you'll see right here with the screwdrivers, there's three little notches. We're going to have to get rid of those notches. The reason is, is the hub to this USB. I'll put it in backwards so you can see it. The hub to this USB, the notches get in the way. 
So I'm gonna grab this little razor knife and we're gonna trim those notches right out. Trying my best not to cut my finger. And this plastic is pretty easy to cut. So just be careful whenever you use these razor knives. As you notice, I just moved my fingers out of the way there. All right, let's see if that'll fit in there now. Yep, fits right in there. So you can, as I said, you can go no bezel and just, there she is, no bezel. Or we can try it with the bezel. And if you look at the bezel, it has a notch out for this little top piece here. So let's throw that bezel in there. All right, get it lined up. Let's see how it looks with the bezel. It actually fits pretty good in there with the bezel. I like the bezel. I like the bezel. I'm going to keep the bezel. Now, another option is that on the bezel, it comes with two screw holes. This marine grade a plug that comes with two screw holes. So that's up to you whether you want to screw it into this. I personally am going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's lined up perfect. I'm going to grab my drill with a little 1 16th bit. Do that. Do that. And then I'm going to grab my two screws. And I'm going to screw them in. All right. It's going to take me a minute. I'll be right back. All right. So when we look at the back, all right, we got the positive and the negative, and we're going to have this lock ring. This lock ring's just going to go back here and screw on right to the back of the USB, just like so. And you can just tighten it up finger tight. It has the bracket. If you don't use the bracket, I would use a little, I would grab a little screwdriver and stick it in these little notches and see if you can see it. Now it's kind of dark in here. It's screwdriver, stick it in those little notches and just push it down just like so. And that'll help you tighten it up. Do you see that? You put it right in the notch and you just turn, push it like that. Now we're going to talk about wiring. So in the Maverick, you have the current plug that plugged into this with two wires. There's a white wire and there's a black with a blue stripe wire. The white wire is the positive feed, the 12 volt. And the black with the blue stripe is the 12 volt negative. So we have two ways of hooking up to that. One way is you can use a very small and thin spade fitting. I'll show you one right here. And that spade fitting goes on like every other spade fitting right on the end, okay? Or option two is you use one of these. This is called a T-tap. It's basically a wire splicer with a, a section for you to add a spade connector. So how this works is, let's make believe this Oh, let's make believe this old Mopar plug is a is the Maverick wire and harness. And let's make believe this brown wire is the white wire in the Maverick. What you would do is you would put the T-tap in there so this fits like that. You would squeeze it together. And then with a pair of pliers, you would join it. And what that does is that cuts into this wire, okay? And it gives you a spot for you to place a normal spade connector into so you can leave the plug dangling and run this wire to that spade connector like so okay and then if you want to take it off you just take it off and that's and these t-taps you can use on a hundred different locations they're very they're very ha handy i'm going to use these small little spade connectors so all i'm going to do is I'm going to grab my positive wire. 
Before I put the connector on, I'm going to place a little bit of heat shrink. Okay, because I need it on the wire before I hook up the spade connector. Get that tightened up. Spade connector. Okay. Going to get my crimping tool. Place my spade connector on the wire. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to bring you in closer. Spade connector on the wire, crimping tool. Come down here and we're going to crimp it. And now we're crimped. I'll show it to you again. Spade connector. Wire. Spade connector on the wire. It, it abuts the, plot, the insulation. It comes up to the insulation. Crimping tool. And we're going to crimp it. All right. Now they're on nice. So now I'm going to feed my... I'm going to feed my shrink wrap right to the end. You can use a heat gun if you have a heat gun. I like using this little torch, and we just shrink it up there, and that just insulates the wire and protects the wire. That's all there is to it. Let's do the positive. Move that right up to where I need it to be. Torch. You can use a regular lighter. You don't need to use one of these if you don't have one. Like a regular Bic lighter or something like that. And that's it. Now, I always want to touch this. I don't know why. Don't touch it. It'll burn your fingers. It's hot right now. All right. So we have completed it. It is all done. Now, all we have to do is put it back in the car. So let's move back to the car, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. And we're done. I am going to bring a little electrical tape, so bring a little electrical tape. All right, so as I said, white wire, black wire with a blue stripe. Black wire with the blue stripe is negative, white wire is positive. If you wanted to use this T-tap, it would go right there, okay? You would T-tap it right there, okay? But the way I wired it, all we're going to do... is we're going to take our positive, which is the red, and we're going to plug it right in. There we go, to the positive, which is the white. The red's going right to the white. We're going to take the ground, and we're going to plug it in right to the ground. And you can see that the, you can see that the shrink wraps right up to the plug. Now, the only reason I'm going to use the, electrical tape so the only reason why i want to use the electrical tape is i want to make sure that my plugs are secure okay i'm just going to grab myself a little piece and this is what i'm going to do i'm going to wrap the plug I'm going to wrap the wire, see, I'm going to wrap the wire, bring it down, wrap it around the plug, bring it back, wrap it around the wire, and then bring it back on itself. And that's just to hold these from coming out. There's plenty of room. It's not going to go anywhere, but I just want to be on the safe side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Feed that back in. Get that back in. Pop it in. That's it. Take my two screws. Screw them back on. And hopefully, she'll work. So what I'm going to do is tighten up these screws, turn on the car, plug in the phone, and let's see how we did. All right. Is the big test reveal. Everything's back the way it's supposed to be. 
Let's plug in the phone. And let's see if she charges. There she goes. Two USB ports. And that's it. Nice, simple installation. Clean. Looks like it came from the factory. Took us, what, 15 minutes to do? You can do it also. Hey, I tell you what, while this is turning on, I tell you what, if you like these types of videos and you want to see more of them, do me a huge favor. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up no a button. Hit the notification button and leave a comment. And you guys have a great day.